Hello, I'm Bood, and welcome back to the Road to Anywhere, my Journeyman series, the one that you still like. That's why you're here, hopefully, after 24 episodes. Hopefully, you caught up on episode 23, midweek, a little cheeky extra one for you. And uh, you can't wait to see what happens now with my first full season with Pohang Steelers in South Korea. If you're still enjoying the series, make sure you smash that like button. Become a patron if you really want to help the channel out. You'll find a link to that down below. And go and check out all my other stuff if you haven't already. So, yeah, first full season in South Korea. I did brilliantly last year. We'll have a quick recap on that. So let's get started. So as you know, I came in at the halfway point because we left my job with Starbuck Arrest and I wanted to come out east and I saw the Poang Steelers job and they just sat the manager and they were sitting in 10th spot, weren't they? With 19 points. And they'd been knocked out of the Champions League. They'd been knocked out the Korean FA Cup. And things looked bleak, but I came in, sorted out a tactic. I made a couple of signings and we just blew the league away. It was a bit too easy. So I didn't know whether the rest of the league was just pretty shit. The old manager was shit. My tactic was amazing. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, but I think I got about 48 points second half of the season. We didn't get beat. I ended up actually losing less games because I didn't even lose any than uh, the team that actually won the league. And we're only three points off him. So I felt, you know, as long as I can do a bit of business in the it's not the summer is it over christmas before the season starts at the beginning of 2043 and a lot of my players don't leave to do military service why can't we win a title and do something special i was excited for it i felt a bit of pressure though because i felt like i should be just kicking ass really so obviously we're way into the future we're on regens a lot of these names start forming into the same name as someone else's so I'm not going to go for every in and out. We'll have a look at my best team in a minute. Um, but you might notice some of these I've brought in and I've sold on for a profit. Not a mag massive profit. I've, I've spent 2.4. I've made 3. The values in this country are quite small. Um, but a lot of clubs are willing to do business with you. Like me and Seoul have just changed hands in a crazy way. I took players off them. They took players off me. Uh, I brought in John Cartwright. And they've, they've bought him for a million quid. But then I bought players off them. Uh, I've got some players from here and there as well, so I felt like I had a good squad. Because don't don't forget there are rules in place in this league where you only allowed a specific amount of foreigners, and I wasn't happy with the ones I had, so I did get rid of a few of them, and I replaced on my foreigners to try and make as strong as possible. We have a new goalkeeper, uh, Jiong Kwang Hoan, uh, 24 years old. He was playing for Sangu, I think they called. They've been relegated, but I think he's a good keeper and better than the one we had. And don't forget. You can only have Korean goalkeepers. One of my bigger purchases for 650 grand mega bucks here in South Korea was Yu Min. Uh, he's 29 years old, left back from Seoul. Um, I liked him. He's, he's better than the guy I've got. I've got a guy called Cho Min, who I brought in on a free. He's a very good player and can play at centre half as well, so just gives me more options. But this guy's just a better, a better all round left back. But right back, I'm sticking with the guy I had last season, uh, Choi Sang Joon. He's 31 years old, a few caps for his country, but again, he's a solid player in this league, great leader. My number one centre-half is one of our own. He's a good young Korean. Uh, he's 20 years old, Jill J. Sung. Uh, loads of potential. Last season, though, when I took over, I think I had four stars in all my, my defence. They're not anymore, but I don't think it's any weaker. I think my defence is actually better and it's got more depth, but yeah. I think this kid's uh, got a big future. And he's going to be partnered by a young Welshman called Lewis Williams, one of my new foreign players. Um, I like him. I think he looks good for, for us in this league. Um, he's come from Portsmouth, where he's been for a very long time. Played over 200 times for Portsmouth. Um, he's only 22. He's had a lot of games for them. He's been going around for a while. But he's decided to come out to career, earning 30 and a half grand a week. Important player. International for Wales. Got some travelling to do that kid, hasn't he? I also have another centre-half, a 20-year-old American. Now, there was two Americans I quite liked. Chris was the better one, and the other lad, I sold to Seoul, do for a million quid, so he was an entire little profit maker. I'd have kept him if I could have more foreigners, but I couldn't, so we've made money off him. Um, but this lad, we've got from Galaxy, got his whole life ahead of him. Great team player, he's super brave, good tackler. He's six foot four. In the centre, we've got Kim Sang Min going into his second season. I brought him in last year, I think at the halfway point. Pretty sure I did. And he used to play for Incheon. And again, a player I think I brought in last year at the halfway point. And it's uh, Jiong Sang Hoon. 
Uh, 31 year old. They've got to partner each other as them defensive midfielders. Attacking midfield. Central is going to be Kim Young Tai, a guy from last year as well, and a guy who's, you know, a good player for us, a good team player. I'd love a lot more skill, but you've got to remember where we are. And um, I think I've been embarrassed with some of Even when I'm in places like Turkey and Romania, I've had some good players and I've managed to pick up some really good ones. Um, but it's not, the, it's not the case in this country. You've not got the can't bring loads of foreigners in which is probably good for the country I just need a bit more quality South Korean player but I think if you had all the, all the best South Korean players I'll show you in a bit they're all out of the country if you had them here in a team you would never get beat on the right I'm sticking with an original and it's uh, Kim Hayu Jin 26 years old got great ability for us um, and hopefully he can have a good season I'm excited about this chap this is one of our um, foreigners on loan from Borussia Dortmund, surprised he wanted to come. Now, obviously, if I was anywhere else in a bigger league in Europe, I wouldn't be too excited by this guy. But I think he's going to be, he's going to be next level in this league. Surely, look at his freaking acceleration, his agility, his technique is going to be killer. His crossing is going to be killer in this league. His star rating is amazing. So yeah, fantastic left winger. Now up top, I've got a couple of good players. I've got Lee Tae Kyun. Uh, who we had last year. He's been here a very, very long time. Great player. And I've brought in from, is it Jiju? Um, Kim Sung Min, a 22 year old South Korean, played for his country once. I like him. I like his finishing. Anyone who can finish like that is going to be a, a great striker. So, got more depth there. And we've got a lot more depth in this squad. Now, if you're really good at keeping tabs on things, you might realize that I've only actually got three foreigners. Now, there's a rule really in place I don't think I mentioned in the last episode now that rule is you can have four foreigners and you think great but it's not that great it's there's a little twist to it so you can have three foreigners but you can technically have four but one of them has to be an asian player so i could have had i could have a fourth if he's like japanese or chinese do you know what i mean anyone from out here at this part of the world but i just couldn't find anyone who wanted so i've got a spot available if you ever find a good japanese or chinese player this season but I was happy with what he had. It's also a computer. The computer thinks we are, you know, favourites. I think we're going to be. What surprised me was the drop-off of Seong Nam, the champions from last year. have gone right down to eighth. Things have really changed. There's been a lot, you know, players are coming in, players going out. I mean, Seoul, who are uh, second favourites, have brought 13 players in this year. 13 players, which is insane. Do you know what I mean? There's been a lot of changes. The league's starting to come alive, really. So, you know... Ins and outs are good, and hopefully it'll be a good challenge. Pressure straight on me. You did a good job last year, Bood. Win us that league title. Okay, shit. Um, obviously, we've got the Hannah Bank FA Cup. I'm just going to call it the FA Cup. We enter it in the fourth round. We've got to do something in that. Just to be, I just want to do better than the manager last year. Uh, and then the Champions League, we're in that, which is amazing. We have got to qualify. We're going to be playing Sydney FC. Um, they just want me to, I've got to win this because they want me to get to the group stage. I was excited to play it because, like I said, I've never played South Korea. Last year was a bit of a quick, rapid whirlwind. I was like, a bit blown away by it. I just kept, I felt like I was just clicking and winning, clicking and winning. I could have done it with my eyes shut. Um, so it was a good test what to see. Could we do it again? But I'm not in all three competitions. Financially, the club's okay. We've got money in the bank. Not a lot goes out. Wage bill's low. Everything's low, really. Um, but they're not giving me much to spend. And it shows you, really, I've, I've had to... Generate cash to spend cash. And I'm still not getting any money. They're not releasing anything. But what they are doing is improving the club. And, you know, I like that. I think that's good. It helps the club. I like to leave a club in a better place. And the better your facilities, the better players will come. And I just wish we could get some absolute superstar Korean players. And this is South Korea. And they are 17th in the world. It shows you they're a good footballing nation. It's just a shame that all the best players are in their nation. And 51 million population. A lot of people on a little piece of land, isn't it? Um, but they've got some top, top players. Their third best player, I signed him for Starbuck Arrest for seven and a half million quid. He's still worth that pretty much. And he's still there and he's a good, good player. I liked him. Um, I would love him in my team. This is apparently their best player and he's all round. He's an all round good player and a good striker. His finish is only 13, but it's his all round game. So it's very good, isn't it? I've made no changes to my first team staff because it's maxed. As best I can, I cannot get. But science is still, or any data analysis still, but that doesn't seem to matter. We're still the best at it somehow. Um, I've had to get a new reserve manager because he got poached by an actual team. But apart from that, we're still bossing it. 
And so is this tactic, and I mean, it's kind of a muddled together one. Um, again, like most of mine are, and I tried it. I've tried it once, and that was with Salford against Sunderland last game of the season. And we got beat two 0 so it, get, it dented my confidence with it. Is it is it actually any good? Because it was amazing here last year. Amazing. We just stormed that league, and we went on a tour of China. Played some big teams. Played Beijing, who I was manager of last year on FM19. And uh, then we played some decent-ish, good-leveled European teams. And we weren't very good. So I was wondering, like, how how bad this season going to go. But I stuck with the tactic. I felt like, you know, maybe the guys just need to gel a bit. And we'll see what happens. First game in the FA Cup. And that went okay. We played a university. So I'd have been a bit embarrassed if we didn't play well. And we played very, very well. My left winger... Little German was on fire. So yeah, destroyed these 5-1. And if you've looked up at the top of the screen when I was showing you the friendlies, you've noticed we were top of the league and we've done pretty well. Played 10, 1, 9, drawn 1. We drew one game at this point and that was against John Buck, 0-0. We haven't been beat. Um, I've got no one in the top goal scorers though, which is I find strange. We think how well we've been doing. Look at our goal difference. But then that's also a positive because it shows you maybe that we've got goals all over the team. Uh, I've got two out, two of the best, two of the best players in the top three. Um, our league's gone up a spot, by the way, which is great. And yeah, just freaking flying through it. These are the results: win, 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 win. Beating all the big teams, scoring goals. It, it's just taken off from where I started last year. Best defense, but you know, I think that was obvious. And even more obviously, because of our goal difference, we've got the best attack. But we haven't got an out-and-out -out goal scorer in the top three. Where are the goals coming from? Well, our leading goal scorer is, of course, our little German left winger. And then uh, Lee Tae Kyun, who is a great player. He scored 10, so we've got goals in us. And then just a good spread here. Do you know what I mean? Look at average rating. It's obvious, in it? We're doing very well. Players, bit part players playing well. Other guys playing well. So I can't complain. I, I just, you know, we've got to manage these injuries. And I've got a couple of players that had to leave on military service and I've got a couple of players one a centre half who's here who's pretty decent he would have been in my first team but he's away on military service now I thought initially they've been loaned out and then gone on military service which is a bit unfair to the team that loaned them but that's not the case someone told me in the comments that this team is an army team and there's another team they can go to which is like a police team over to the Champions League and we're playing Sydney in a playoff a one-legged playoff away right so they must have had an advantage on us for some reason now, my issues with this is, at this part of the world, especially in Korea, everything's double-legged. You have double-legged Champions League finals, double-legged finals for everything. But then this was a one one game. We don't get an advantage of that for ourselves for being at home. So, you know, we did enough just... We got Drew in Group E with uh, DL Yifang, who we actually played on tour and drew with in the summer. We beat them twice. They were quite close game. Uh, we've got Antlers from Japan. And then Persilla from... Is it Persilla? From Indonesia, um, but we won every game. That it was just, I mean, the Japanese team I thought might give us a game. They were shit. I mean, away we have, we, not, we battered them in away. Uh, obviously, we beat DL Yifang, and then the Indonesian team was crap. So yeah, it's just getting a bit. It was a bit like whenever I'm in a league like this or with a team like this, and you're just winning, winning, winning. You think it'd be fun. It kind of starts killing my motivation and I just feel like I could be clicking the space bar and not even doing anything. Having a brew. Do you know what I mean? Doing anything I want. And in the second round first leg we have drawn another Japanese team. Can't really look at him because I haven't got anything updated with Japan and they've it's the weirdest thing on this game. Not only can you not really use them, you can't really look at the teams. You can unlock it. Um, I've not done. I wish I had now though, because I wouldn't mind going to Japan maybe at some point. I've never ever managed there because of the weirdness with it on Football Manager. I might have to do that next year maybe. Money's on the up. I've done anything. A bit of Champions League, a bit of Korean football. We've doubled our money nearly than we had at the start of the season. And I've actually got some transfer money to spend, although I didn't really feel like I needed to. Now the season isn't over in Romania, but obviously I liked it here. I could have stayed here seriously. And try to do something. Felt like a, a failed, even though we won four titles. I wanted a cup. I wanted to do something in Europe, you know. And um, it's just nice to see that they're carrying on. I put a lot of groundwork into that club. And they're in the Champions Group at the minute. And they're going to win it. Now, do you remember the King, Martin Kaiser? The guy I picked up on a free when he was, what, 
in his early to mid-20s and um, brought him to Besiktas and he was a brilliant player for me. I can't believe we got someone like that. We got a few, didn't we? We got another player from Austria before I ended up going to Austria. Now, he's had a bit of a career since. Uh, I wanted to check up on him. He's now 31. He's, he's playing for Leicester, which is really good. He still looks like a great player. He's worth 51 million. But we've seen who bought him first. Yeah, he went to Man City for 13.25 million. Now, he had a great career with me. He scored enough goals. I liked him. He could have been a bit more prolific. But, you know, four years at Besiktas. Great. Fair play for him. He left when I left, I think. He might have stayed there a little bit. No, he left when I left, didn't he? Or did he stay an extra year? I can't remember. It's a lot of football manager. But he went to City and he had a good first season, but then he's kind of fell off. They probably bought someone else with their mega, mega money and then left on a free for Leicester and he's done really well there. So, yeah, he's, I just wanted to catch up on the King. So, obviously, I don't think I've been beat, have I? And we've got this amazing record now from the 18th of July and I took over in July, didn't I? I resigned in June from Style and it took me a bit to get my job. And we haven't been beat. Which is insane. What also is insane is I've got a B. Last season, they're going to give me a B. After freaking nearly won the league by three points. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're tough to please here in um, South Korea. But, you know, we're on fire at the minute. We're in everything. If I don't win something this year, I'd be, I'd be amazed. We jump forward now to September and we've had our youth intake. That's when the youth take is. It was my birthday, actually, eight days ago. And I'm 65 years old now. I've got a few grey hairs on my chin, but I think I look pretty good for 65. <laughs> 65! Oh, my God. Um, right, so, yeah, you can take was nothing exciting. I wanted it to be. I thought maybe my staff would help and we'd get something great. So I was a bit disappointed. But just like Romania, would I be disappointed in the cup? But let's find out. So, obviously, we're now in the fifth round and we played Swan. We are a good team at their place, but we beat him 2-0. We faced possibly the best team in the country, really. The most historic. I think they've got the most trophies. The rich. So, they, you know, they're a big club here in South Korea. Again, away from home, so it's not easy. And we beat them 2-1. And it was on to the semi-finals. Two-legged semi-finals. Where we played Deugu. Whatever that is. Whatever that is, that's who we played. Um, we beat them 4-0, so you know, we put this to bed. Would we blow it? You know, at home, we, we could, or we couldn't, 8-1, 8-1. I'll show you the goals, but we'd be here all day, and I've got stuff to do, man. I've actually got to take my mate, we've gone buying a bike, a mountain bike today, because now we can be together with six people, me and my friends are getting together tomorrow, um, going on a bike ride, we're going to Manchester. I did four miles over day, and they died. It, it, going to Manchester and back, it's like doing 10 miles, so I'm going to be uh, go to the city centre. I can already feel me. That's what I'm doing. I'm rubbing my knees. I can feel my knees in pain already. So they're second in the league. I wonder who's top. I have no idea. Um, and they were second favourites for the league. And they're probably the second team in South Korea at the minute. And they're who we're going to be facing in the cup final. Ooh, exciting. Oh, we're top, are we? Right. I didn't think. I wouldn't have thought that. We're 18 points clear, are we? Jesus. I've actually been beaten though. At home by Busan. We missed a penalty. I took a draw. I can't believe it. I thought I was this close to being an invincible, having a, an actual full season undefeated. But imagine that. Got to end the year undefeated. I was absolutely devastated. I said I was getting a bit bored than I was, but then I was like, how dare you? Do you know who I am, you cheeky bastards? I mean, they're not a bad team. They're fifth. But now we've got two goal scorers in the top three, which is exciting. I've got the three best players in the league, two of the best assist makers. Um, and we, no one's stopping us. That title is ours, isn't it? Somewhere to go, but it's still ours. Of course, in the Champions League, we had a trip to Japan and we faced the UURAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAWAW
the number one league in Asia. Don't forget, and they're top of it. Just, but the top of it. But look who's second, and we beat them. My old team, Beijing, I've got a lot of love for a third. So yeah, um, you have no idea. I didn't feel confident really. What I've got to vote for is all this great form we've accumulated in the league and the cup in our own country just keeps riding high. Morale's high, you know, overall average rating's high. Um, goals wise, look at that, 34 goals from Lee Tae on. My left winger is just a beast. So yeah, this is the league table, the final league table, and of course we won it by a freaking country mile. It was way, way too easy, and I couldn't see how anyone would ever catch me up in this. Now, once I, if I, you know, once I start playing it, I'm only gonna get better, I think. Start improving things, and I mean, we're not just like two points ahead. I'm like 25 million. Do you know what I mean? It's just too easy, too easy. So yeah, nice to win the league title. Felt really good. Felt like a champion. What they want about this for me? I felt like I could do this at the start of the year. I wanted to do other stuff. And that demon was a domestic cup. But fortunately, it's over two legs. So we did win the first leg away, 3-2, which is absolutely fantastic. Christopher Priest. Oh, I love him. It looks amazing on this game. On a 3D game, it looks amazing. Because he's amazing. Forget Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Eden Hazard and Neymar. Put them all together and you get Chris. He's amazing. So yeah, 3-2, absolutely dominated it. Felt confident we could uh, do them in the home leg and win ourselves a domestic cup. I've totally forgot what it's like to win a domestic cup after my time in Romania. Well, I can't forget anymore because now I know what it feels like to taste and kiss the cup. Drink some champagne out of it. Absolutely buzzing. I felt like we'd do it. We did it in absolute style. It was amazing. 4-1. Um, 4-1. Four, one. Four, one. Have that soul. Um, and this was towards the end of the season. The end of the season's a bit shit. So I had these two legs now, and then I had a couple of league games, which at this point for me were unimportant. So luckily, I could I B teamed them. Um, I could play players, rest all my main players for the Champions League. When you get beat 1 0 at home, you, you worry. Especially when, you know, we both played as well as each other. We had we created tons of. Just could not get that ball in the net when we needed it the most. It's a Champions League semi-final, you dicks. Got to go out to China now and beat China's number one freaking team to get to a final. This is not what I expected. I did not expect this. At all. It's great, isn't it? In the freaking final of Champions League. But how? How do we turn up like this at this game sometimes? You, can just, you just don't know what's going to happen. And this was just an absolute masterclass. Now this... Looks great. First leg, 5 0 against Al Hilal. Sounds like a kebab shot. And from Saudi Arabia, right? But I thought they were good. One of the best leagues in the world. Just battered China's best team. What's going on over here, man, in Asia? It's not that great, is it? It's not a lot in it, is it? Um, we just that great. Are we that good? Are we just on fire at the right time? I don't know. But we absolutely destroyed them. And it did kind of piss me off. I wanted a ch You want a challenge? You want a bit of fun? We went to their place. Beaten 2-1. It was a bit more of a game, although we still dominated it. Still created tons of chances. Could have been easily scored. We could have easily scored five again. So, yeah, it's fantastic. It's great. I've done the Champions League now, so I've got two. I've got South American. And I've got an Asian, right? Which is great. But this was just a bit meh. Everything's just been too easy. Too easy. And in the words, actually, of Jay from the Inbetweeners, South Korean football. I've completed it, mate. What I did like, though, was I've just won a domestic treble. League title, cup, and Champions League. But like I just said, totally completed it. Totally got no motivation to stay here and do anything. Um, too easy. I can't see it getting any harder. I can't see anyone catching me up. I mean, if Europe... Had, Europe? <laughs> if, I always say Europe. If the Champions League had been a bit tougher, maybe I could be motivated a little bit. But I'm just going to dominate in the league and I'll get bored playing the season. It'd bore me. I don't I want to turn the computer on. And then the Champions League was too easy. So I just feel I'm done here. Now, I'm not done in Asia maybe, but I think I really need to have a drop down and challenge myself now. Um, but normally I just resign and then apply for a job because I've got a good reputation now. I apply for a job and see, you know, I'll probably get it now. But I don't want to do that. I think I might just resign. And just not apply for anything. I'll wait and see who comes to me with a job interview. 
Well, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed episode 24 and hopefully you enjoyed that complete dominance of Asian and Korean football more than I did because it kind of gets boring for me when I do too well. Um, but if you did enjoy it, thank you as always for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Become a patron if you really want to help support me and my channel. And again, as always, thank you for taking time out your busy day to sit and watch it. Make sure you go and catch up on other stuff. Maybe you've not you know, seen me solve the series. Go and check that out. There'll be an episode of that out hopefully on Monday. Tuesday there will be a Palermo episode. That is still my favourite. And, and for all you guys who are hardcore and watch all my videos to the end, there is going to be a new real rebuild after that. I've got another country. And it's not England. People keep asking me to do English teams. I've done so many. I'm done with England for now. So it's a new country actually. I've not been to on a rebuild. And it's a challenge I like. So we'll see what happens with that. So thank you as always. Take care. Stay safe. Wear your mask, wash your hands, do all that good stuff. From me and my family to you, I wish you all the best. You can wish me the best in the comments for my 10 mile bike ride tomorrow. Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. And you'll see me again very soon. I'm booed. Love you. Bye-bye.